Hello, I'm Valentin Mandace from History Houses of Romania, Casa de Epoca, and welcome to my podcast. I would like to speak about uh, the Bucharest restaurants and the buildings uh, in which they are housed. Many of them are obviously in the center of the town and uh, they are housed in uh, historic buildings. Uh, the big problem for this town, it's a large town, it's the sixth largest town of the European Union after Britain will go with uh, London, with the Brexit, it's going to be the fifth largest town of this uh, uh, continent, European Union, <laughs> continent size political unit. And it doesn't make, its restaurants uh, do not make use of uh, the advantage of the places where they are housed, or the uh, premises where they are functioning. It's very unusual for a large uh, uh, historic capital uh, uh, comparing with uh, the others uh, in uh, the rest of uh, Europe and European Union in general. Why is that a problem? Uh, the answer is simple, of course, but it has to be analyzed. It's lack of education and lack of civic pride of the locals, not understanding uh, their heritage. It shows to you what communists can do for you. Tabula rasa, not even now, nearly 30 years after communism has fell, actually in about uh, 28 years since uh, communism fell in December 1989, and the situation is absolutely terrible from in that regard, regarding the appreciation uh, of the local historic uh, architectural identity. It is uh, absolutely an abysmal level, more typical of the, at the height of uh, Stalinist era. So it's a consequence of, of, of that, uh, that situation, that tragic history which has happened here in the 20th century, in the last part, uh, the second half of the 20th century. But there are um, other countries which went through a similar uh, regime, communist regime, like uh, uh, Hungary, or what is now Czech, Czech Republic and Slovak Republic, where uh, uh, the situation is much, much better in their capitals, in, uh, Prague, uh, Bratislava, or Budapest. Uh, there, the restaurants and shops and uh, many other businesses, they, many, many of them in a large proportion similar, like in the ones in the uh, areas with tradition uh, in that regard in the West, they make use of uh, the historic premises, the places where they do business in order to increase their appeal, to add to their identity, uh, to the marketing, and in the end, making much more money, because clients come there, uh, one of the reasons being uh, uh, the architecture, the history of the house, of the place where that business, business is taking place. And the restaurant is one of the best possible businesses to make use of the historic environment, the historic architecture of the place where it's functioning. In Bucharest, that is not really the case. Don't get fooled by what many restaurants claim that they actually make use of uh, uh, that, uh, of the architecture and history of the house. That is just a plain lie and sometimes uh, told uh, straight into your face, uh, you know, it beggars belief to, 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 to encounter things like this, but, you know, they are very, very often. You enter a restaurant which is absolutely defaced and bastardized by renovation plastic and many things which do not have anything to do with architecture and its history, and the owners, uh, the patrons, uh, like... Uh, claiming that, wow, what a historic environment and what a nice thing is done here. All of them, the restaurant owners and the patrons, the ones who come there to at the restaurant, the clients, 
they are uneducated and quite terrible i have to say quite terrible people because they they propagate this kind of approach so in bucharest uh, uh, in the center we have many buildings of different architecture but most of this architecture is could be grouped in three main trends uh, the historic one we have the la belle époque period i call it little paris because that was the period and bucharest tried consciously to emulate uh, the french capital uh, at that time the most prestigious as seen by the locals uh, but interpreted in a provincial manner so there are corner uh, restaurants former pubs or former small uh, restaurants from the quarters which are not really central you know like in uh, more or less working class or lower middle class areas which are full of charm but now are absolutely decrepit or uh lined up with plastic foam and uh, plastic uh, doors and uh, all of its old ornaments from carved wood or um, wrought iron thrown away so that is one uh, trend another one is the new romanian which is a grandiose style it's a national style it's a quite often a political declaration of identity of showing your identity the local traditions put into architecture and usually there are grandiose houses and these houses can house uh, big restaurants with big names restaurants and there are a few around but as i said they do not make use of that architecture in a proper way they basically bastardize it and the third main trend which is one of the it's a bit of a Cinderella, although it can be extremely interesting, especially for a foreign clientele, is Art Deco, Art Deco and Modernism. This is the worst possible uh, situation because uh, the renovations um, for these uh, buildings, uh, housing, uh, restaurants are absolutely terrible. It's basically, they, they are seen as perceived as a more modern building. And they are just uh, lined up with plastic foam and many other things. And the old art deco ornaments like wrought iron or elements grouped in three, which show the rule of three of the art deco, again, thrown away. The aspect of the buildings very often showing the ocean line liner theme. It's again absolutely defaced. Uh, the form of flagpoles taken away, thrown away. The old uh porthole windows uh, are uh, lined up with plastic frame windows which are not uh, round they are square fixed into that porthole it's absolutely a uh, disgust uh, and that thing is going on at a very very fast pace as i said uh, there are uh, designs bureau in bucharest architects uh, who are designing redesigning doing design for uh, these restaurants when they open uh, interior architects but they do not have any idea or they have basic ideas about this uh, styles which they have to cherish the old styles of the buildings they put them into value it's absolutely a dreadful situation and uh, another big problem in Romania and in Bucharest in general is that the owners usually they're extremely arrogant and uh, full of their self and you know it's, they, they have a so-called vision about the restaurant and they just want to implement that kitsch. It caters for the local market but for the sixth soon to be the fifth largest town of the European Union having pretensions to attract uh, international tourists. Even the lower middle classes, the people who from the West were less educated, but they know more than the ones over here. It makes a very unsightly sight, if I put it that way. Uh, myself, if I try to make some recommendation, try to get some business from such people developing these restaurants, I am easily dismissed. You are not an architect, you are a historian, boy, what is that? <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> it's not interest at all. Or if I 
uh, mention them a fee you know if I you want my consultation I can do you I can write a report there about the aspect of that house on which the architect can guide herself or himself and uh, you can have a good result there and they asked me how much it costs that I said you know, if it's a small restaurant at least five six seven hundred euro wow no way to give you this money but they're, they're peanuts for the money what you can do if you use the architecture of that restaurant as i said there are a few restaurants restaurants around which claim to use the old architecture but i have to say that none of them that doesn't do it properly so with some of them they try to do a good job there it comes to me cocktail for example is quite okay uh, and uh, some of them are really pretentious and they pretend that they, they did a good job there like uh, uh, it's a big restaurant ch chair call, uh, chain called um, City Grill and they have um, for example a large new Romanian style house Casa Soare and they have there the beer makers the brewers in or the brewers house Casa Berar in Romania that is uh, better than being uh, such a good restoration, uh, new Romanian style house and so on and so forth. It's very aggressive in my opinion, it's not very well kept and basically caters for a very low level education public, the local one, not for the international one where they have pretension. So uh, it's a lot of scope, it's a very very large town for this uh, large uh, economic and political unit called European Union but it's not interest in using for its marketing for making money more money its heritage the restaurants especially because the restaurants they have the best potential for that it's a very unusual situation obviously the things are in transition things are improving but at a very very slow rate and you know I need probably two or three lives in order to make a living <laughs> for the locals to to wake up for this kind of torpor post-communist or communist torpor so this is the situation right now and the Bucharest restaurant uh, scene is absolutely dreadful I have to say from the aesthetic point of view and also the food is not a big deal I have another another thing the only good thing for it is that it's cheap but obviously we have to watch to not get <laughs> uh, food poisoning or other kind of stuff so that that is the situation now nearly three decades after the fall of communism and uh, uh, 10 years of european union membership so things are moving very very slowly and people in my profession it is a bit of a problem Basically, you cannot make a living in this kind of environment. But uh, let's see <laughs> what is going uh, to happen. Okay, I hope that you found interesting this, post this podcast and we'll see each other very soon. Thank you and goodbye.